this is the bodice mock-up and it's looking pretty well it's not my first mock-up by the way <laughs> I'm not that good or that lucky um, but it's the first mock-up I've made with all the layers that are going to be in the the actual bodies and I like how it looks and how it fits except for these weird wrinkles here in the back and what is causing that is that it's a bit too long for me and I didn't notice that in the other kirtles I guess being just one layer sort of uh, hit that but here you can see that if I fold it I didn't fold it enough if I fold it it looks a bit better but that's the only issue what I was most worried about was the straps I thought that they would tend to fall off my shoulders but they don't they've been staying there pretty well and it's very comfortable I've been wearing it for a few hours precisely to test the how comfortable it is to wear and if it reduces my mobility and not at all super comfortable I ended up cutting two centimeters all around the bottom and as I was pleased with the result I moved on to cutting the fabrics for the final bodice The first step of the construction was to sew the canvas to the calico layer. I was following a pattern from the Tudor Taylor book and the written instructions were a bit unclear on how to do it. But in a picture it seemed to show these vertical parallel rows of stitching, almost like boning channels but without any boning. So I did just that and it worked. Then the calico layers are joined with the outer fabric to be worked together as one layer. The clever way to do this is to baste them together. The lazy way is to use pins. And let me tell you, the lazy way is not a good way. With that lesson learned and the pins replaced with basting stitches, the panels can finally be sewn into something wearable. Here's the bodice, almost ready, but before I go on and apply the lining I just wanted to show the insides, the guts of the thing, because there's all of these little handmade stitches, so many hours of hand sewing and it's going to be all hidden and no one will see them again for a long time, if ever, but it was worth it. After the lining is applied and the fabric sandwich that is this bodice is complete, it's time to move on to the skirt. The skirt consists of only two rectangular panels sewn together with two side seams. Easy. Dora can do it in her sleep. Knife or cartridge pleats are both period correct ways to turn this fabric tube into a skirt. But I have a personal rule that says that if cartridge pleats are a possibility, then cartridge pleats are going to be a reality. So there wasn't a lot of indecision here. Okay, so I don't know exactly how I managed to do this, which sucks because it means I probably won't be able to do it again. But I managed to pleat the waist exactly to the side I needed at first try. I have no idea how I did this, but yay! Lucky me! So now it's just 
sewing the skirt to the bodice and we have a kirtle. So I've sewn the skirt to the bodice and then tried it on and noticed the problem. So you can see here, well, the bodice uh, is a lot lower in the front than in the back. And it's very obvious to see that when it's lying flat like this, but when it's being worn, it's a lot more subtle. So much so that I completely forgot about it and sewed on the skirt as if it was all completely straight and then when I tried it on this gap here looked horrible but it's an easy fix so I've already marked where I need to fold the, um, the waist of the skirt and then I'll just have to spend some time in the incredibly amusing task of undoing handmade seams. And with that fix, there's only some finishing touches left. Hey there everyone, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. This was the second part of a three-part video project, so if you haven't seen part one yet, I highly recommend it. It will give you the whole context for the project and you'll also get to see a cute animation that I spent a lot of time working on. And if you are enjoying it so far, I hope you stick around for part three. It will be uploaded whenever I get it finished. So it might take a while, sorry. <laughs> and yes, that's it. Bye.